Uh, hey guys, um, it's been a while since I've made my last video, and uh, the reason for that is because um, I've been currently dealing with uh, a pretty major um, bout of depression, and um, I think normally when you see me record my videos, um, I've normally been either in a neutral mood or slightly depressed or um, maybe even like kind of manic, but every once in a while I do fall into a, I guess, pretty major rut as far as depression goes. And um, uh, today I'm going to be talking about exactly uh, what that's like, and it pretty much explains why I haven't been uploading a lot recently, or why maybe I every uh, now and then take these long one week breaks and um as far as like what it's like for me to have depression um it's not uh i know that a lot of people um experience depression as having um i don't know like severe suicidal thoughts and like tendencies and um you know having like these non-stop negative thoughts or, um, you know, like being unable to move past, um, you know, I guess memories that make you feel bad or whatever. I don't, I don't know what that's like because I don't know, for me, that's not exactly how I experience depression. Um, and, you know, I'm not sure if it's because of my experiences with uh, different substances or, um, you know, maybe my, my knowledge of, uh, like things that are more like meditation, mindfulness related, or, um, I don't know, maybe it's like my cultural upbringing because I do remember learning in psychology class that, um, different cultures, especially, uh, like collectivist cultures experience depression differently. But, um, for me, it's really less of, these suicidal thoughts and stuff like that. And, you know, maybe I'm lucky, maybe I don't have it as bad as other people, but uh, for me, it's really more of a physical thing. And what I mean by physical is that uh, it's like, it's just all like, for me, depression is, um, it's almost like my mind slows down to like a crawl to like, like everything is just in slow motion, like my thoughts. And it's not necessarily that I feel sad, but it's that I just feel like numb and empty and even more numb than I normally do. But it's like my numbness is, um, you know, magnified by a thousand times. And it's like, I feel like a hollow, like I feel like there's a hole inside me and I'm just this vast void of emptiness, if that makes sense. And um, yeah, that's the best way you can describe it. And it's not even that it feels bad per se, or maybe it kind of does, but it's not like bad, like where I'm like, like freaking out or like, you know, like crying and stuff like that. But um it's really uh, more like, um, I don't know, it's just complete and utter emptiness. And um, what, and yeah, this is another thing is like, I'm, I'm kind of able to talk right now because I'm slowly getting out of it. And I'm, I'd say I'm like 50% depressed right now instead of 100%. But when I'm fully depressed, um, it's like, I can barely, I can barely speak properly. I can barely formulate my own thoughts. And, um, it's like, yeah, it's like my mind is just, um, it's like I have to drag my mind, you know, it just takes so much energy just to uh, even like formulate a sentence and, um, you know, talk normally or like, enunciate with like any sort of um 
enthusiasm you know like i try and do even though i'm pretty bad at that but aside from that that's another thing i wanted to talk about is just the complete lack of energy and um yeah it's like it's like all of the um it's like when i'm depressed like the only thing i really want to do is just line my bed and it's not even like a conscious desire but it's just like i just feel so fatigued and so tired that um you know lying my bed doesn't even feel good but it's just it's almost like this feeling where like my body when i when it's lying against the surface it's like this invisible like psychological glue that's just adhering my back or my body to my bed and just any surface that I'm lying down on and it's like it's like I want to get up but it's like maybe it's like the comfiness or I don't know what it is but it's like I'm just glued and like I'm stuck and if I think too much about it, it's like it takes more and more energy just to like try and like rip my body from my bed and it's like I'm almost stuck and I can't like get out of it and I know it's all in my head but that's just I think what depression feels like and it's also the feeling that like just the weight of the world I don't know it's just not only are you glued to your bed or whatever service you're lying on but it's like the weight of the world is just um I don't know you feel like the weight of the world is just resting upon on top of you and it's like you know how they say in physics that you have like like was it like the atmospheric pressure right because you have like like a thousand meters like a column of air that's essentially being uh, on top of you like pushing down on you because of gravity and normally because you're a human being and because of thousands of years of evolution you don't feel it anymore because you have um i guess your body's pushing back or whatever like physically but i guess psychologically like i feel like i can feel that whole column of air just that invisible column that you that people normally aren't aware of i can just feel it pushing down on me and i can feel the gravity pulling on my body and you know obviously this is all in my head but i guess that's just what it's like because maybe it's the lack of energy or it's like it's not even that i feel it but i guess it's that it's what it feels like you know it's it's what it feels like to have depression and um not only that, but it's, it's just depression comes with a motivation or just a lack of motivation to do anything because, um, well, I don't know, I guess it's the lack of energy and that definitely contributes to that and this feeling of being like stuck, I guess, and um, unable to move or unable to will yourself to move and um also there's just the fact that nothing I'm gonna, oh my arm hurts. this nothing really feels like pleasurable anymore and um you for example normally i feel kind of okay watching youtube or you know maybe working on some of my hobbies but when i'm depressed it just doesn't feel good to do those things anymore and nothing really give me it's like yeah it's like the back to the numbness idea the idea of numbness where it's not that it feels bad but it's that you don't really feel anything anymore and maybe that's i'm not experiencing depression maybe i'm experiencing something else because i don't feel like killing myself i don't feel sad but it could be an issue of severity i guess but yeah, that's pretty much what I've been going through for the past week and a half and even a bit now, but a lot less because I'm able to get myself to talk now. And yeah, but as for what I do when I'm depressed, I mostly just 
sleeping and if I'm not sleeping I'm lying on my bed like this and just I don't know just lying there and not really doing anything like productive I guess and or I guess I do eat so that's a good thing but my appetite is definitely not not as much and um yeah, like, I'm even fucking tired holding this, my phone up with my hand because, I don't know. I just don't feel like doing anything. I guess I should be thankful that I don't feel suicidal because I really don't want to know what that's like. Um, so, what else? Uh... Yeah. Can't really think of anything else to say. And, um, you know, to everyone subscribe, you know, thanks for sticking by. And I know I've been pretty inconsistent about my upload schedule. And it's um, pretty unprofessional of me. But, um, yeah, it's just, I guess it's something I have to learn to work through, like, my feeling this way and uh so i can upload more consistently and maybe get more comfortable like uploading in the morning like this uh so even if my uh parents are awake and stuff and, um yeah anyways i'm probably gonna end the video now because i can't really think of anything else to say and um I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, yeah, anyways, bye for now.